Hi everyone. Hi, how's it going? It's Sarah here from Sarah McCauley Studio on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page. How are you tonight? Nice to see you. Um, looking forward to um, having a chat with you tonight and showing you um, a beautiful stencil. Um, hello, Julia Campmeyer. This is my mum watching. How, that's such a treat for me to be able to see you, mum. Liz, how are you? Nice to see you. How is your um, day going today? So um, I can see quite a few more of you jumping on. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I do appreciate it. Um, so tonight we are looking at the lattice stencil. Oh, Liz, it's your morning. Of course it is. I hope you, um, I hope you had a good rest and you're feeling good on a Monday morning. So the lattice stencil is um, one of the extra large stencils in the range. It is um, a nice thick quality mylar. It's 0.25 millimeters. Um, and it's a really good size for using on all sorts of projects, including furniture and so on. Hello, Debbie. Thanks for joining. So nice to see your name pop up. Um, it's, if you're um, measuring in inches, it's 20 by 24. If you measure in centimeters, it's just over 50 by just over 60 centimeters. So really decent size for using on furniture all sorts of projects as well, but I'm using it. Hi Jan, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Um, some of you watched a couple of weeks ago when I was working on this Frida suitcase. This is the Frida Kahlo Lux decoupage paper and I really had fun applying it to this old vintage suitcase. Um, it's the size of the tissue paper was slightly smaller than the suitcase so I've done a bit of blending around the sides. Um, I finished off with a little bit of metallic waxes on all the hardware because it was extremely rusty um, and not in good condition. So I've um, pretty much finished the outside. I've done it in a kind of, you know, given it a little bit of old patina um, because it was very rustic condition anyway, but I thought I'd give it that whole Mexico City dirty vintage look. Hi Deanne, how's things? Thanks for jumping on. But today's, anyway, today is about the inside of the case because I'm going to decorate the inside with the stencil. So inside I've painted it, um, it's kind of a pale lilac-y colour. Again, the inside sadly was not in great shape. It had peeling old paper which I had to peel out and then um, I've painted and I've sealed the inside with a clear varnish and the reason I've done that is because um, the chalk paint can be quite porous and I want it to be nice and sealed before I do my stencil and I might even add some transfers as well so it's good to make sure your surface is nice shiny and sealed before you start to use it. Thanks Deanne, that's kind of you Deanne, so she loves the paintwork. Um, so this is kind of, I guess it's a good example of uh, a good upcycle, you know, something old and um, forgotten about and a bit forlorn that you can make a bit prettier. Um, and I've got, I know um, a couple of you on here are avid upcyclers, Jan and Debbie. So I know that you love doing this kind of thing. So what I think I might do is just try and adjust so that you um, see the inside of the lid because that's where I think I'm going to start with the stencil. Now just to make life complicated, the stencil is a little bit larger than the lid. So what I'm going to do is just get it on the surface as tightly as I can and just um, put some tape around it so that it doesn't wiggle while I'm doing my stenciling. So let me know where you're watching from. Some of you I know already. Um, some of you are um, new names. So jump on, send me a little emoji. Let me know where you're watching from because it's always fun to have people from around the world on these calls. Now I don't think I'm gonna be able to get right up in here because of the bendiness of the stencil. So what I'm gonna do is concentrate really on the middle of the inside. Hey Jesse, how's your day been? I saw your um, 
beautiful little project on glass that you've been doing. That's nice of you, Deanne, to welcome people. Um, I'm very excited to see that my mum's watching today. So I better not stuff it up, mum. Right, so I'm just going to fix this on as best as I can so that I can get some traction because when I'm stenciling I like to be able to push quite hard through the holes and get my paint through the holes without it wiggling around while I'm doing it. For those of you who've jumped on, I'm Sarah, you're on the Aussie Decor Transfers page and this is the Lattice Stencil. It's not one I've used before but I've used quite a few of the other stencils in this range and they're all um, they're all this extra large size and they're all nice thick quality mylar. <laughs> Thanks Tian, yeah pressure's on. Don't want to mess it up in front of my mum. Hi Siobhan, how's your conference going? So I've mixed up a little bit of paint. I've chosen um, a greyish colour. I want to get a bit of contrast with the lavender so that the stencil stands out. I did mix a little bit of lavender paint in with the grey but it hasn't gone very purpley but I'm just going to go with it anyway. I might, I've got some silver paint as well, I might um, add in a little bit of silver and I've just got a very basic stencil brush, the kind that you can get in craft shops um, and I like using the ones with the really stiff brushes, I find it um, easier to work with. You're all done, Siobhan. So Siobhan, for those of you who don't know, has been representing the Aussie Decor brand at um, a conference in the UK, a painter's conference, and um, presented on stage very capably, I must say. And I hope, hope it went well, Siobhan. Yeah, uh, Deanne says the silver is pretty. Yeah, the silver's really pretty. I'm hoping to do a bit of silver. So when I use um, paint for stenciling, what I like to do is get a little bit on the, just on the very tips of my brush, blot it off quite a lot on kitchen towel or um, shop towel, if you call it that in the US. And then I know that it's dry and dry and it's not going to bleed underneath my stencil because there's nothing worse than if you um, do your stenciling and you find it seeps under the stencil work and makes blobs because that's just that could be annoying so I'm just going to start with a really dry brush you can always add more paint and I'm just going to do a little light layer all over and then I might go over it a bit with some of the silver colour have any of you used this stencil yet or perhaps some of the others in the range no. um, I did use um, I've used the other lattice stencil which is called the diamond lattice that one's a really funky one in fact, I don't know if I'll be able to show you that stuffing up my stencil work, but I did this stool. That's, so this is the diamond lattice and this one is the lattice stencil. And there's also a beautiful fan stencil, um, the Art Deco arches. Jump on the website and have a look. The link to all the Aussie Decor products is above this video. So if you fancy just browsing the range, jump on, have a look. What's everyone been doing today? So for us, for us Aussies, it's nearly the end of the day. So Jan, Deanne, Jesse, some of the others who are on, let me know what you've been doing today. I've been 
uh, helping my son with his homeschooling a little bit and I had to go on an emergency mission to get the cats some food because they've decided they don't like what I'm feeding them. Jesse has said, I just got the Moroccan stencil. Oh, I haven't tried that one yet, Jesse. But I saw um, that Crystal used it and it looked really, really pretty. So I'm just dabbing light amounts of the paint through. Um, and again, I'm just going to keep my brush really dry because I'd rather have less paint than too much. You can use sponges for doing this too. A lot of people prefer to use sponges. It's totally just a matter of preference. I like these brushes because you can, you can pounce them quite hard through the holes. And I don't mind quite a delicate look, so um, I'm just going to do it quite lightly. Deanne says she's had her second vaccine. Well done, Deanne. Hope you're feeling okay. It's a good feeling once you've got both jabs done, isn't it? Sure. So for those of you who haven't already joined the um, our creative club, that is a really fun place to show off your uh, creations. So if you buy anything from the Aussie Decor website and use the products, feel free to post your pictures on the in the creative club page because then everyone else can see, get inspired by what you've done. Um, we all love to share our creations. And it doesn't matter if it's not a piece of furniture. It can be anything, it can be something quite small. Because um, we all do craft projects too, like little um, trinket boxes, glass jars. And because the products are pretty versatile, you can, you can use them over many projects. So for example, if you buy a pack of the transfers, you might do a piece of furniture and find you've got a little bit left over for uh, some other crafts and so on. Hey Belinda, nice to see you. You've been sewing, awesome. I know that you don't have, um, you don't, you're not able to do your furniture at the moment because you're moving. So sewing is probably a good, good thing to be doing. Jessie says she's getting her second jab next week. That's great, great news. So this is a little bit slow progress because um, I think if I'd laid it down flat, I might be able to get more traction. But anyway, I wanted you to be able to see it. I'm gonna keep going. And we can keep chatting as, as I do it. Jan is covering a vintage lampshade. Oh, brilliant, Jan. I can't wait to see that. What sort of fabric did you get for it? Jan does um, fabulous lampshades and sells them. And um, they're often very... Uh, vibrant retro designs. In fact, Jan, you've done quite a few Frida Kahlo lampshades, haven't you? Which seem to be very popular. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, I'm going to keep going with my grey, but I think I might work a bit of silver into it to liven things up. What do you think? Yeah, Frida's so popular. So I could either do a bit of silver right in the centre of these sort of the lattice, like the diamond of the lattice, 
or I could just do some random silver bits. Um, I could attempt to sort of ombre. What do you think? Jan says, go for it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get a second brush going with my silver. These um, metallic paints are really nice and thick and lustrous. I'll try and show you the inside of that. They're really gorgeous. I've had this, um, I started using this for Christmas craft last Christmas and I'm still going with the same pot. That's how long it lasts. I'm just gonna give it a little stir. Ombre says to you, oh, I might give it a go, Deanne. Hi, Julia, how are you? Thanks for jumping on, hun. So if you don't know me already, most of you do, I think. Um, my name's Sarah and I've got a small studio here in Sydney. I'm a content creator for Aussie Decor Transfers, um, one of a team where we demonstrate the product, show you how to use them, hopefully inspire you a little bit. Um, and it's just great. It's a really nice forum just to ask questions, get familiar with the products get to know each other a bit like it's really nice when we get a gang um, of regulars because then we can all have a have a chat together right so this is going to be just little bits of silver and I'm going to keep going with my other brush with my bits of the charcoal grey And I'm going to try and speed up because what I want to be able to do is reveal reveal the stencil um, before we finish. I've also got plans, <laughs> I've got grand plans to add a bit of foliage as well. Might even have to stretch this out over another week. But anyway, what I want to do is the main point is the stencil tonight. See if I can get most of that done. Oh, thanks for your nice comments, everyone. There's always so many new products being released as well, so it's um, it's exciting for me to see what people are doing. There's someone on this page every day demonstrating. So um, if you've only just discovered the, this Facebook page, um, keep an eye out because we're all in different time zones. There's um, three or four um, representatives in the US. There's three or four throughout the UK and Ireland. And um, a few of us in Australia too. So there's generally someone in your time zone to watch and you can always watch on replay as well so for the UK team I, I sometimes miss theirs and just watch them on replay um, and if you have any comments feel free to post comments under any of our videos because we do check back and try and answer all the questions as quickly as possible Okay, so this I'm just I'm getting there, aren't I? I'm going to do a bit more around here, and then I think what I might need to do is take it off, and then if I feel like I need to do some more in here, I'm going to just have to move, wait till it dries a little bit, move the stencil up. So I might not get to that with you today. Right, 
So for those of you just woken up, how are you getting on? Have you, have you had your coffee yet? Liz, have you had your breakfast? My mum's probably hanging to go out shopping. She goes out shopping on a Monday morning. So I appreciate you delaying it, mum. So share the, share the love, send her, send her a few hearts. Liz, my grandson. Oh, that's nice, Liz. How old is your grandson? Okay, now I'm forgetting my silver, aren't I? So I'm going to go back. I've got, I've got my silver brush. I'm going to keep going with a bit of silver. I'm just going to get a bit more of this kitchen towel as well to keep blotting my brush. There we go. And a little bit of smattering of silver just to brighten, brighten it up a little bit. Because I like the charcoal, but I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to look a little bit harsh against the lavender colour, I'm not sure. Okay. Getting there. I'm going to do a little bit more with my charcoal. I think this lattice is actually, because it's quite um, a sort of quite a classic design, I think it could, could look really nice on all sorts of things. Like I can see it across the front of a bureau or, or a chest of drawers looking really nice. You could even just use little bits of it, I think. Um, if you wanted to, but you don't have to, you don't have to use the whole design. You can just pick out little bits of it. If you, if you do foliage, you're doing stencil, decoupage or transfer. Um, thanks for asking that, Deanne. What I, w what I want to do is once I take off my stencil, I've got some tiny bits of transfer to use up, which I'll show you right now. Um, when I say tiny bits, I mean tiny bits. So these are from the um, pink glass stents, uh, transfer, if any of you have seen that. And these are literally just leftover bits and bobs. I've got like this little bit here, um, this little bit here. So these were just in a bundle of little bits and bobs I've got left. But I thought they were quite vibrant and they were quite... They could quite suit the freedom Mexican um, jungly, you know, the jungly foliage theme. So um, what I'll do is finish off my bit of stencil and I'll have to let the paint dry before I can do my transfers or put the transfers over some parts that um, haven't got wet paint on them. Pretty, yeah, they are pretty. Thanks, Deanne. Um, what I like about the transfers is there's always, you know, you've always got little bits and bobs left. You can do some creative work with them. Okay. Sorry to get in the way. I just want to get that one last bit in there. And it's not perfect, but it's, um, I might go, I can always go back. Go back with my silver over the top. I'm 
do like a bit of metallic. Anyway, I'm going to lift off and see what it's like. She used to wear them in her hair. Yes, Frida did. She did wear them in her hair. And I think <clears throat> she's got a whole bunch of pink flowers in her hair on the front of this suitcase. We can have a look at it again before I finish up and have a look. So I'm going to take this off for now. Let's have a look at what it looks like. There we go, what do you think? Left hand bottom corner, you missed, oh no, you tell me. I totally, I did, I missed it here, didn't I? Thank you. What I think I'll do is, I might start with a few transfers and then go in and fill in a few gaps. So you're totally right, I missed one there. And I could probably do one more row here along the top, what do you think? Um, but I quite like it, it's quite a nice delicate stencil, that one one little blob there if you do a blob you can just sort of wipe it off I thought it might be quite fun um, to add in a little bit of foliage around the edge how about I put some foliage here and then no one will know I missed a bit of stencil I think that could be a good plan oh thanks Belinda you're very kind So I'm going to pop that, I'm just going to pop that there, what do you think? And I'm going to stick it on with a bit of painter's tape. I've just realised you actually can't see that corner very well on the screen. So what I might do is, let's put it up here. I mean, there's no right or wrong to this. It's just a bit of fun. So. Um, I'm just going to, that's it, I'll do a little corner there. Right. Oh, it's very, fit. this is a very fiddly project. I don't know why I decided to do this one on screen. It's very fiddly, but thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. So does anyone have any questions about the stencil, the transfers? Um, Aussie, the Aussie Decor brand, I'm happy to answer questions. Um, so I'm using my yellow transfer tool, some of you know about this tool already, it comes with your transfers if you buy any. Um, it's really tough, really good tough multi-use little tool. And I use it to just push the transfers onto my design. Again, um, because I have sealed the chalk paint with a clear varnish, the transfers love a shiny surface, so they go on really nicely. Um, if you've got a porous surface or a surface that's a little bit dusty or, um, you know, a little bit rough, they don't go on quite so well so always just make sure whatever you're using even if you put it on something which is like um, terracotta flower pot or watering can even if you don't want to paint it just put a clear varnish on first oh thanks for one good question which of the new posters new lux and new stencil you're looking forward to using oh all of them um, I am very, very impressed with the new Lux papers that you revealed at the UK conference and um, in particular the Stormy Iris, that is the one that um, I would love to get my hands on. And um, I think the Moroccan stencil, which Jessie was just talking about, because I think having a uh, stencil you can use on borders is very useful. Um, and posters, oh, there's so many posters. Don't know where to start. I like this. I like the um, steampunk themed posters. So this little transfer, I can't actually see if it's adhering or not. So I'm just going to pull back the corner a little bit. 
yeah, that's going on quite nicely. And if you're not sure if it's sticking on or not, just lift up the acetate and have a quick look. Hey Karen, thanks for joining on. Oops, and don't do what I just did and fluff it up like that. Just gently peel it back. So I can see that one, that little pink one has gone on quite nicely. Diamond Lettuce Moroccan Steampunk. I still want to do the wolf and horse ones too, says Diane. Yeah, how about that wolf? So many choices. Okay, so this is nearly there, I think. just missed that little bit around the edge. If you miss a bit just keep returning the acetate to the surface and keep rubbing. Once you've done a couple of these um, you get you just get a feel of them. There we are so there's a little floral design in the corner. And I think it's going to look a little bit strange just swimming up there like that. So I think I might do my row of stencil up here. I've noticed I've done a little smudge down there, so I'm going to try and get that off too. And if I can't, I'll just put a blob of the lavender paint back over that and sort that out. What do you think? Should I do... In the few minutes I've got left, would you rather see me put a transfer in this corner or this corner or do more stenciling? What do you think? I am open to suggestions. I am thinking about maybe this one, maybe down here. Uh, this is also really pretty one transfer 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 all right let's do some transfers i think how about that one here let's do that and with these little pieces you can always layer them so if you think it looks a little bit odd i, th I think it looks a little bit odd swimming on its own up there but i'm just going to cut up all my remaining tiny bits more what about a trail of greenery, says Jen? Yes, yes. I like it. Good suggestion. Um, I wonder if I can bring this closer so you can see. And I wonder how I'm going to do this without completely obliterating your view. Kind of, you need to. <laughs> You need about eight arms to do this successfully. Oh, you guys are lovely. Thanks for the hearts. I've so enjoyed the last few days. I filled in for one of the other ladies yesterday who was away and um, it's been nice. It's been nice doing two days in a row. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. Yeah, no. Um, I tell you what, I've learned a lot from doing this. What, what to do, what not to do. Um, I've never fallen off my stool like Crystal, but I've done some other bloopers. It's all, it's all, you know, it's all part of it, isn't it? And I have to make sure my cats are shut out of the studio because they would be causing all sorts of trouble. Oh, how am I going to get that little bit up in the corner? All right. I 
Okay, nearly there. That little curved bit is really difficult to get on. I'm not sure if that's going to work. If you do get a little crack in your transfer, don't worry about it too much because you can either layer on top of it with another little bit of greenery, um, you know, dab on a little bit of paint. So this one is cracked slightly in the corner and the reason it's cracked is no fault of the transfer, it's because I'm, I'm on a bit of a bumpy surface in this corner. Anyway, I'm just going to go with it. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a little bit. See that little bit of green here? I'm going to stick that back on. Again, there's a huge bump under my paint that I didn't notice, just from years of old wear and tear. There we go, that's okay, isn't it? That actually came out okay. Um, all right, I'm going to have to wrap up at this point, I think. Um, but it's coming, it's coming along. And you can see how quick it is to, um, to make a start on these things. And I think it's, it has prettied it up inside. Um, and I will go back and I will do a little bit more stenciling here and I might just, you know, uh, take Jan's advice and do some trailing plants, trailing greenery. Um, and I, th I think I like the flowers because I think it does echo. Um, we were going to have another look at Frida, weren't we? It does actually echo her floral loveliness in her, in her hair. So, um, good morning Blanche, thanks for joining. I'm about to wrap up, but do watch the replay if you can, because we've had a lot of fun doing this. Um, okay guys, if you do have any questions, let me know. Make sure you follow the Aussie Decor page if you're not already doing so. Join the Creative Club and join in with creating with us. And um, follow my page, Sarah McCauley Studio, um, to catch up with what I'm doing in Sydney. Um, and I'm here fortnightly on a Monday. I sometimes fill in other gaps as well, but that is my regular slot. So I will see you in two weeks time. Um, and I have some Australian florals to show you on that one. Good to see you too. Thank you for your lovely comments and your support. We really appreciate you. And I will let you go now. Bye.